told us what happened. You, sir, are a fool. But thanks. <laughs> Master Cormac, I am sorry to bother you when you were barely out of your sick bed. No, I... I've had enough of being cooped up. Then perhaps you could get a friend of mine out of trouble. He discovered a nest of criminals developing strange weapons. Look at these. Bullets as loud and bright as firecrackers. If we might... Have a moment alone. His name is Christopher Gist, and he might be in over his head. I fear these brutes will hang him like a dog. I will not let those outlaws have another victim. Good. The villains are entrenched at Old Fort Arsenal. I have urgent business in Albany. Please tell Master Gist to join me there. Good show, Shay. Ran them right out of their own den. Well, I was looking for a new place to live. Well, don't put your name on the door yet. There may be a few men left on their ship. Look, the bird is nested right over there. It's a bargain. What is Shay doing there? It's my ship friend. Begging your pardon, but I must go fetch her back from those louts. Oh, wait! I can hardly let you do that alone. Help me if you can, then. Keep your wits about you, Shay. Criminals are everywhere, and most of them look just like law-abiding citizens. And they've been harassing the people who've nursed me back to health. Sounds like good folks. They are. Perhaps you know them. Barry and Cassidy Finnegan. I've never met them, but I knew their son. Careful now. These ruffians can be anywhere. You can draw them out by making noise. Oh, I've got something better than that. Well, you seem to be more than capable of taking care of this matter. <clears throat> I shall find a new crew for your vessel, in case you have to leave post-haste.
She's a fine ship. And true to my word, I found a crew for her. I did leave one position unfilled, though. Tell me, Shay, do you have a first mate? He's long gone. Then I apply for the post, Captain. Well, come aboard. As your first mate, may I suggest our next destination? The Colonel will be expecting me to report back. My thoughts exactly. Colonel Monroe said he'd be in Albany. Splendid! 